Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick demo on uh, both dealing with having a private final uh, instance variable and also uh, we're going to make two a uh, class with two constructors, one that's the public facing constructor and another that's a private one that we'll use for our, our implementation. In this example I have a somewhat contrived tune class which I um, am going to make it so that you can create an empty tune um, but then you can take any tune and sort of add notes to it. So in this case, I uh, build up old Mac the beginning to Old MacDonald Had a Farm by taking an empty tune and just adding notes to it. Um, so let's say that we oh, let's say that we decide that we're going to make uh, this immutable object, and it's going to have some string which keeps track of all the notes. And I'm going to make a public constructor tune um, that you know, simply sets this dot notes equal to the empty string. Okay, and uh, let's say we wanted to write a two string method, and we'll make the two string method just uh, simply return the notes. Uh, let me just return notes. And so things are going so well so far, and now I just need to add this add note, which is going to take a string and sort of uh, it's going to take some note to add so in this case it's going to add C and then C and then C G for this particular instance we're going to add C and I need to return a new tune um, that define that is the sort of old tune plus this tune so this is going to be a method add note it's going to take some note and what you can imagine me trying to do here is I'm going to say well so I had the old notes, the notes, the next set of notes, or we'll call them notes prime, right? Notes prime is um, this note, this guy's notes, plus you know the new note, maybe we'll tack on a space at the end, and we're like, okay, that's notes prime. Now I need to make a new instance of tune, so you can imagine me saying tune, and that's tunes prime, and that equals a new tune, I guess. At this point, I know I want to return that tune, but before I return it, I got to set sort of tunes prime notes equal to notes prime. Okay, and this isn't going to work, right? Because this guy is final. The whole point here is we we could like get rid of final, right? And now it's you know going to work, but. Um, kind of like the ability to make mark things as final and not changing the whole point is that this tune class is going to be immutable and I'm, I'm kind of stuck here and, and, I, and people seem to be struggling with this on their lab so let's uh, think about how to do this in a little bit different way um, one of the things that a, a private final instance variable is you have to assign it in the con in the constructor or at the declaration and nowhere else um, but it doesn't mean that you can't have two constructors um, so we can have the private tune that sort of the, the that takes in uh, what notes you want it to be, and now this dot notes would equal the parameter notes, and now instead of creating this empty one and trying to mutate uh, its notes, I can just say oh like just make notes prime here and pass that in, and now they'll all be set. Uh, if I run this now, uh, you'll see that it prints out uh, old McDonald's. Thing. Um, you can also just, you, this is totally fine the way it is, you don't have to do this at all. Um, instead of, you can call one constructor from another constructor. So right here you can see I have both of them assigning notes. Like I said, it's no problem at all. You can invoke some other constructor by simply uh, using this with the parentheses. And this will also do the exact same thing in work. So um, that's how to uh, sort of deal with having a private final instance variable and having two constructors, one public and one private.